Hello, Salt Strong Nation. Joe Simons like diamonds. We are back. Lukey Simons like diamonds. What's a good word, dude? Just ready to talk fishing. Ready to talk fishing. We're breaking down the five steps, just five, and sometimes only three or four, but five would be the absolute worst case. Five, five max. Five, five max. max. And this is proven over and over and over again. We're going to show you some examples. We're going to show you some testimonials. We're going to get in the community and actually like show you all five steps in action. And these are the five steps to be able to go out there any weekend of the year, regardless of what's going on, unless there's obviously a hurricane, you can't go fishing. But almost every single weekend of the year and catch an inshore slam. This is about tight lines. This is about basically just empowering you with everything you need, including the confidence to go out there and be in the feeding zone, that 90-10 zone. Hopefully a lot of you have, have already seen the 90-10 webinar where we talk about putting you in the feeding zone that 90% of all feeding fish are just in about 10% of any area. And, and that's what this is about. So this is about breaking down those steps. Cause a lot of people say, okay, cool. I get it. But like, like what are the steps? And I think all of us as humans, we love checklist, right? Luke, we, we love being able to say, all right, boom, I just have to do these five steps and, and I'm going to be able to do it. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to pull up before you pull up your screen. Let's see yeah, if I can get this and just clarify thing too. So the, the 10, the 90, 10, it's 10% of the spots are, are holding, you know, 90% of the fish at any given time. The tough part is that 10% zone is moving. So it's, uh, it's not fixed. That, that's like the one thing we really want to, uh, to emphasize is that it's not about GPS spots. If you're focused on GPS spots, like we have done, everybody does it. Um, you're going to be missing the ball. And because those spots of the fish move when they're not comfortable, they move when, when a certain food is, is in the area or not in the area, they're going to move. And the key is to focus on where they're going to move and why. And that's what these five steps will help you solve. Yes. Which is why we always preach. It's not about just the spot. It's about the type of spot. So if you can see my screen here for those of you who's listening, I'm just going to read it to you. So I wanted to show this because it just happened 23 hours ago. Uh, this is uh, the title and this is in our private insider community. It says first trip since joining Salt Strong. And this guy, Dion, he actually followed all five of these steps, which is why I'm so excited for you guys to see it. So he did exactly what we're going to show you today. And here's the results. So he just posted this 23 hours ago. It says after several years of not having a boat, we decided to get back in the game. And he's in Swansboro, North Carolina, by the way. So this doesn't just work for people in Florida. So he's in Swansboro, North Carolina. <clears throat> this, this was our first trip since joining Salt Strong, and we had a blast. We watched several videos and put together our plan for the day, which we're going to talk about. It was super windy and a falling tide, which led us to target creek mouse that emptied into larger bodies of water that was protected from the wind. We ended up with two flounder and a puppy drum. That was his first redfish. And if you guys can't see this, this is his son who uh, I don't know how old he is. If I miss that part, uh, I'm guessing he's 10, 11 ish based on uh, how he looks here. That was his first redfish. Thanks, Joe and Luke. That was just what we needed. Thank you for helping me make memories with my son. And he's got a little video here. I don't know if uh, the sound will pick this up or, uh, or not. You can see he, he's so pumped up at the end has his, uh, that's a flounder there on the leprechaun. But I think that's so cool. And that's a testament that this stuff does work as long as you follow the system as long as you follow the proven blueprint that's working everywhere from texas to florida to the carolinas so let me uh stop sharing or luke if you want to kick me out oh, there we go kick me out and let's start with step number one and here's the great news if you're currently an insider member you already have access to all all of this stuff and everything that we're going to show to you the bad news is if you're not, you need to join us today because two of these steps, two of the most critical steps out of the five, you have to be an insider member. This is the stuff that we've spent now well over seven figures of our money building behind the scenes. And a lot of it too is like literally hands on hand coaching, like literally every single Friday, getting on a map and on a video and showing our members what types of areas are going to be holding fish for that weekend. So step number one is to watch a 10 minute video. All of our members do it. It's something we send out every single Friday. It's so consistent. It's uh, just like the moon coming up. You know, it's going to happen. It's every Friday and it's usually 10 minutes or less. And it is like everyone who watches it says like, oh my gosh, like you guys have made finding the best spots and finding fish so much easier. 
So Luke, do you want to pull that up? And for the current insider members, you'll know what this looks like. If you're not, hopefully Luke can uh, pull one up here. Yeah, and so and so before we get into it, I, I, as Joe mentioned, is that this is all about getting away from the GPS spots. Hey, look, I'm going to go fishing two months from now. What spot should I fish? Um, you might get some good information, but it's going to be a flip of the coin if the spot's going to be good or not, because those fish are moving. They're moving based on the condition. So instead of the GPS spots, hey, like I'm going to this area, what spot should I fish? It's really about what type of spot should I be fishing based on these conditions? Because that is what the, the, the conditions themselves, conditions meaning the tide, tide cycle, you know, in or out, um, the temperature, is it trending warmer, trending cooler? Very big deal. Something that most people overlook. We all overlooked it. We all, uh, we overlooked for many years. And also wind speed and wind direction. If you're not putting those as part of your plan, as part of your decision making on what spots you're going to go to and when, your results are going to be all over the place. And you, you probably have seen that, right? We all, again, we, we, everybody does this. And uh, I did it for at least 10 plus years. And it was very frustrating because I would have like two good days in a row and be like, finally, I solved the problem. I, I solved the puzzle. And then I go like three bad days in a row. And I was going to the same spots, but they get to conditions change, which made those spots no longer good is what I later learned. And so this is all about picking the right spots based on the conditions. And so step number one is to know what, what the trending feeding zone, what the trending uh, feeding um, zones are, what type of spots have the fish been holding in and feeding in throughout the week. And so another thing that I learned the hard way as well is that near term, like recency information, you know, um, uh, a trending feeding zone within the week is way more valuable than looking back like 10 plus years for like year over year analysis, because every year is so different. Um, some years it gets colder than others. Some years it gets, it gets warmer. Um, it's really tough to do. I used to make so detailed. Uh, I used to go on every trip and I'd have my tide chart printed out and I would note on every, on every single fish I caught where it was and where on the tide cycle it was. And I kept it in a folder and I had like five years of stuff, but I got no value out of it because the next year I would look at it and I'd go back to those same spots on the same, you know, the same month and the same moon phase and it wasn't working because the weather was just so much different. Um, sometimes the winter comes early, sometimes it comes late, sometimes here in Florida, it doesn't seem like it comes, up, comes at all. And, uh, and so it's really about what is happening very recently. And, and it's shocking how much that actually, like even the entire Southeast, you can, you can really get a good forecast because these weather systems basically push through and it's all within a few days. And, and the fish behave the same way on trending trending weather so, so rec recency trumps the historical stuff all day long and and that was something like i said i think most people go about it the opposite we did forever right i mean you, you just said you get like a file cabinet worth of just old historical stuff that's kind of worthless and now it's like all about recency which is why like the number one thing we talk about uh, on, on why you, you should join the insider club if you haven't is real time trends like real time recency what's happening right now in your area, in your region. And, and specifically real-time human intelligence. Um, it's not, because we, and we have a lot of data with, with machine learning, because we, you know, we now have over, it's like 20,000 reports from us and members. And yes, the, you know, the output is kind of helpful, but historical analysis from computer systems, it, it's only, it, it'll never incorporate the the actual movements of fish um it's it's just impossible and so the the human intelligence is key it's crucial that was my biggest change once i started um, networking with when i was doing tournaments i was networking with other uh with other teams and and even though none of us were full-time guides um we were actually competing and beating in many cases full-time guides because we were all sharing the human intelligence not everybody could fish before the tournaments so the ones in our group who would fish would just share what was happening with the others. And, and it, it was shocking how much of an impact that made. So this is really about the human intelligence factor. And so what this is, this and, is- And real quick, number two, artificial intelligence can't grow a beard, so you can't trust it, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so just that alone is uh, yeah. it's pretty clear. 
<laughs> but uh, so step number one is just to to get some insight on on what the feeding trends are. And so one way that we do this, the, the core way is that so every Friday, so most most of members are fishing on the weekends. So every single Friday, you can see all the details here, is that either me or some one of our, one of the coaches on our staff uh, will go through and, and just explain and highlight the core trends that have been happening it's for our own personal fishing, right? For what we've been seeing personally on the water, plus what members are posting in the community. Right now we're getting, what is it, Joe? Like 30 or 40, 30, 50 posts a day, something like that, the fishing reports? Yeah, I mean, more than that. I mean, it's like every every seven minutes, there's a, there's a new one going up. So Yeah, so seven, whatever whatever that math is, I don't know, but it, there's a lot of reports. And so we're just getting, we're getting real time reports from members and many of which share really helpful information again on the trends on okay i'm seeing them on the wind protected shorelines or on the 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 uh, windy shorelines or the shallow water or the deep water near the inlets away from the inlets um and, and so anyhow so we filter we it's basically like the cliff notes it's the it's the the cheat sheet um per week on exactly what to look for on your future trip and then obviously if the weather is going to change, right, we get we get on the forecast and we look to see if there's a cold front coming or not. And so we'll explain, okay, here are the trends and then look at the forecast of the weather and okay, we have a cold front coming, even though these were the trends, here are the changes you need to make to your plan, knowing that we have a front coming in. So long story short, it's basically a done for you system that is focused on the number one most important thing, which is type of spot based on the based on the uh, the trends based on the the uh, the conditions and then number two is okay like if there is a change of the conditions coming up what adjustments do we need to make so very very important and, then, and, this, and this is something that i think all anglers should do before every trip uh is to focus on because this isn't just one person right this is a, a summary of the entire network of now um, over over sixteen thousand members. Yeah, it's cur curating all of the the reports from Texas to Florida, all the way up to Virginia and even New Jersey area that are happening every every single week. So 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 powerful. And this, I want to make clear because I know we all value our time, and that's the reason we did this in ten minutes or less. This is the longest step, right? And we always tell people like, if you don't have ten minutes to pre-trip plan, then you might as well just give up fishing and start knitting or doing something else. I mean, ten minutes, and this is game changing. Everyone like this gentleman here in North Carolina, right? A lot of people. That's feedback we get. Oh, you guys are all kind of based in Florida, and we know this works in Florida, but it might not work in my area. It keeps working every week in Texas. It keeps working in Louisiana. It keeps working. Obviously obviously in, in Florida and in Georgia and South Carolina, North Carolina and Virginia every single week. If you just take 10 minutes, you are going to have an edge over every one of your fishing buddies. If you just take 10 minutes to watch this video every Friday, you are going to know more and have more, probably more intel than every weekend warrior out there. There's going to be guides who are on the water every day that are going to know more than you, obviously. But in terms of weekend warriors, the guys that and gals that you're out there competing with, if you will, and, and you want to go out there and have more pictures and more awesome fish picks and more memories like this dad over here did, you are going to be armed and dangerous just by watching these 10 minutes. This is like the hardest part. And that's really pretty easy just to set aside 10 minutes on a Friday to watch it. It's a click of the button and, and, yes. uh, and watch it. And again, the core benefit. Not even, that's not even enough time to eat popcorn, dude. It's 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's little small bags they have now. Uh, but, um, but yeah, it's this, the, the core, just so you understand the core reason for this is because we know that 10% of the water is going to hold 90% of the feed and fish. And so we know that 90% of the water is going to be uh, pretty much junk or, or a waste of time and it's dead, dead zone, feeding zone, dead zone is the easy way to think about it. And so that, that 10 minute video is just gonna make sure that your target is going towards that 10% zone. It, it's it's a, a macro view that just talks about the, the macro level stuff that again, most people do it totally wrong and they're focused somewhere where it's, it's just, it's not a guaranteed dead zone, but the odds of it being good are very slim. Mm -hmm. um, whereas this is just about, okay, let's, let's make sure that the train is going in the right direction. That's the goal. Can you click on one real quick, just so people can see how easy it is? It's, you don't have to read a lot. You literally just got to click a button and watch yeah, it for yeah. ten minutes. And so all these pictures are from members. So this is what you know the stuff is coming from. And so you literally just click on it. When you when you are a member, you can uh, access it. It just has a high level video. And nope. so here nine is, minutes thirty four seconds. Nine thirty four. Yeah, we get we promise that it's under ten. 
And then, uh, so we actually have a checklist. So I'm not going to show it for just because uh, members are paying for this. So we have the you know links. It, oh, and so oh. then the, the short, yeah, this, uh, so here's a checklist. So every week, even if you somehow can't set aside 10 minutes, there's a, there's a checklist on a good spot checklist, right? Okay, so what things do you need to have in a spot for it to be worth your time is basically what it's all about. And there's literally, we take it down to, it's usually between three and six, depends on what's happening, but it's okay. What do you need to think about? Simplify it as much as possible. If you don't have time to watch 10 minute video, what are the three to six things you need to see? What features do you need to keep in mind for deciding if a spot is worth your time and spending there or not? So it's like the cliff, the cliff notes of the cliff notes. Yeah, the ultimate, the ultimate cliff notes. So again, super important. This is just, uh, again, something that we wish we had years ago. That's the reason why it's there. And the feedback from it's been excellent. And obviously, you know, as you get, as you get proficient in, in doing it yourself, you obviously don't have to do it every time, but uh, for everybody who starts, uh, I really, we always highly recommend going through these. And we have, we have captains who are members who watch the same stuff, yep. full-time captains. And th this is kind of like having, we call it a fishing coach. It's like having a captain on speed dial. You can call up every Friday and say, hey, run down 10 minutes. Just tell me everything that's working right now. Where are you seeing fish? What kind of depths? Where's the bait? Like literally just telling you everything you'd possibly need to know in 10 minutes or less. It is game changing if you just do this step alone. So that's step number one. I know we spent a lot of time on it because it is the longest step. Uh, let's talk about step number two, All right, which, is, number two. which is now you're armed and dangerous. You know where to be looking. Now we need to start going and looking more detailed at the weather and the tides in your specific area to get a, a little bit better game plan. Yeah, so we, from we, step number one, we now know – uh, you'll, you'll know after you watch that video, or at least just look at those six bullet points, is you'll know the core things to think about uh, on, on what spots to choose from. Right? Types the of spots. Yeah, so the types of spot based on the conditions. And so now we need to know, okay, what are the conditions? All right, so we know the type of spots. Now we need to know the conditions that we're going to be facing while we're out there. And so that's where smart fishing tides comes into play. Uh, obviously, there's a, there's a lot of different tide systems that you could use. Uh, this is one that we did, and it's, it's totally free for all members. And what it has is everything you need to know. So let me just pick, I'll pick a random spot. Pick Gulfport. I've been uh, fishing there a lot lately. And what this has is it'll have a, a daily score. Um, so a daily score, again this, again, this is system learning. So it's not as important as the human intelligence that we, that we talked about, but this is based on the algorithm we put together that, that's seasonal. Um, this will kick out the, the uh, expected bite you know, out of a 10. So zero to 10 score. Um, for those who can, can pick one day or the other to go fishing, this is kind of just a way to, to get um, an idea of picking the, the smarter play, the smarter day. Uh, also has every hour, has hourly, this is where this is crucial. There's not many tide platforms that has everything in one. And that's, that's where this is unique. So from this one chart, we can see the tides at any given time throughout the, again, the hourly tides. Crucial, a lot of tides, tide systems have that, obviously. Uh, but what they don't have is the hourly wind speed and the hourly wind direction. You got Crucial. some wind, wind cranking there today, dude, 23. Wind is cranking, that's why I'm here and not out in the water. <laughs> um, so again, very, very important. And, and you can skip, you can go skip around and then see the trending wind or twindy, trending temperature, right? So. Um, a cold front just came in, so it's in the mid 60s. We haven't felt 60s in a while. Actually, this is the first 50s I've felt in quite a while. And then we can look a few days forward. Okay, is it trending warmer or is it trending cooler? In this case, it'll be trending cooler like three days from now. And so we can take that intelligence and and apply it to the game plan, and then st then we automatically know that we should be targeting wind protected spots with deeper water with muddy bottoms or we should be targeting the wind blown shorelines with some hard structure and points. So uh, again, uh, there's, um, there's obviously, uh, there's just, I don't know, to me, this is, this is just invaluable information that will help just again, guarantee that the train is going towards that 10% zone. Yep, and we have tutorials for all of our Insider members on how to maximize this in a really short amount of period of time. So we don't, cause we've done, entire like step-by-step -step tutorials and like you know case studies like hey if we're fishing tomorrow here's exactly how we use it and apply it all 
uh, for this, this is more of just like 30,000 foot view of these five steps. So everyone, you could be thinking every weekend, all right, I got to watch a 10 minute video. I got to go here, you know, based on, on what I just learned and, and, and figure out exactly in my area. Cause we're going to talk about that, in the 10 minute video. Uh, but obviously you can't cover every single city in the entire Southeast in 10 minutes. Uh, so it's more of a general, the types of spots. And then we're going to talk about here and the weather and, uh, and, and obviously tides, you obviously want to be fishing if there's some current flow in most all cases. Uh, so what else do you do here, Luke? What else uh, on smart fishing tides? Yeah, so I, I, I spend, this is always my first stop is I just want to see the wind speed, the wind direction and the current flow. Current flow meaning is, it, is the water coming in or is it going down, is it going out? And so the, then we have the hourly feed, this is the feeding again, this is the, the system learning. So it's not gonna be perfect, but it's just to help you gauge the, the time of the day that you should be fishing. Uh, we do cover that on the, on the game plan, um, but this will, again, this will be the system learning. In most cases, they're, you know, they're, they're accurate, but it, when in doubt, I, I always default to the human intelligence first. Um, so this is gonna be, so this is basically saying, historically for this, this season and these types of conditions, then this, this actually factors in the trending weather, the trending wind, the trending barometric pressure, just all those little nuances that at one at a time, it's not that big of a deal, but all put together does make a big deal. And so this is just will help you plan your day if you, uh, if you can. Otherwise go when you can go is what we always, uh, we always say, but if you can, if you can uh, you know, pick like a, a certain three hour window and you have a bunch of chores to do and you want to maximize your time, this will just help you pick the right three hour window. Yep. Um, so then uh, on here too, again, this is unique in the fact that this has everything right now that we, the cold front just came in. So we have no clouds in the sky, but if there were clouds, uh, you'd be able to see, this is the radar. So you'd be able to see uh, the radar in motion, just like, like the weather channel without having to go to any other, any other app or platform or whatever. Unfortunately, it's, um, I guess fortunate, I should say there's, very clear skies out there. Next thing is a satellite map, right? Satellite maps for uh, for those of us who fish shallow water, these satellite maps are amazing. It is invaluable information because you can get on here and you can look in and zoom in and see where the different where the different depth zones are. Um, you can see you know what docks have structure around them, which ones don't. You know which uh, which little cuts out here. If if the, if the trend is that trout are on the outside flats. Um, you can go out and, and just find, you know, these, these bars and look to see if there's grass on the outside or not. And obviously, if there are, that's going to be a good spot. And if we know that the trout are on the outside flats and the wind, the wind blown flats are holding the most fish, then all we need to do is just find that type of spot based on the conditions, because we know the wind direction, uh, we know the current flow, and we know the trends, and it's, you basically have everything everything right here. And this happens to be step number three. So the cool part about these five steps is two of them are right here. So number one is to watch the 10 minute smart fishing game plan. Number two is to go to smartfishingtides.com and check out the weather and the tides and then scroll just a little bit further down on the same page in your area and you pick three to five spots, right? Luke, I know you're pretty good about picking kind of three-ish uh, generally, and that's kind of what we're teaching a lot of our members is you don't want to, you don't need 15. Uh, you don't want to go like too crazy, but, you know, pick three to five really good looking spots based on what you learn in the 10 minute video and based on really the wind direction and the tides. And then, right. Anything else you want to add to that? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I usually go five um, okay. and it really depends on how, if you're fishing all day long, try to do, I'd say do at least one per hour of fishing you're going to be doing. Um, just to be on yeah. the safe side, because as you do more, as, lo as long as the, you know, you're, you're picking the right type of spots. So first of all, it's impossible to be 100% correct on every spot you choose. Um, I wish that was the case, but it's just not right. There's, there's always some unique, and it could have just been that a dolphin just went in and just ransacked the spot you were playing. On or fishing. a jet ski. Uh, yeah. Or those jet skiers. And, and so it's really important to have multiple, like having a backup plan, it, it, you know, if you if you don't you know if you don't have multiple multiple uh, backup plans at least one you're you're planning for for uh, for for trouble so yeah just have pick a few spots again based on the the conditions at the given time and uh, and for help on that for those who are in areas with with murky water too just so you know 
again, another unique thing about this platform is that we have uh, sonar charts. They're called sonar. And what that is, is it's basically, okay, we can't see underwater with the online maps because the water's too murky or whatever reason. Now we can use this to see where the depth changes actually are. So in this case, this is that same point, right? We can see this, this shallow flat, and then we can see all these lines really close to one another. And that's, that means there's a shell. And so obviously you can't see the underwater structure is the bad thing, but at least we can see the shells. Where are the shells? And it's very, again, very, very important thing to have. And again, this is a unique factor in that we have all of this in one platform where all you have to do is kind of scroll around. Yep. Smartfishingtides.com. And if you guys are listening, uh, Luke is just looking at both the sonar and satellite where you can see all the depth changes, all the ledges, you can see any kind of irregular types of uh, types of spots. And there's a lot of, there, there's so many people forget about this. And I, I have heard from many of our members who actually just spend a little extra time on the sonar and they're like, Oh my gosh, I had no idea this was there. Uh, yeah, like this one right here, Joe. Remember uh, Ike Iconelli? We uh, so yeah. we we had the opportunity to fish with with Ike, uh, Mike Iconelli, and I was going from one spot to another, and I didn't realize that this bar was here. It's not very clear on the satellite maps, and we just happened to be out there at a super low tide, and I looked like an idiot <laughs> by uh, by. And it's but, out in the middle. It looks like it's the last place you think you're about to run around. Yeah, because I never bothered looking at this. And, uh, and that was before we had this built out. So, um, so yeah, so it, it can help you not look like an idiot, which is, uh, which is always a good thing. <laughs> at least you didn't have to get out with your wading boots on and push. So we got close. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah, All right. So, so let's go for it, Joe. Step number one. We, we already talked about, it, right, is watch the 10-minute video. That's for our Insider members. So that's step number one, 10 minutes, and you're going to be armed and dangerous. Step number two is go to the Smart Fishing Tides and look at the conditions for the day you are going to be fishing. We go out 14 days. Uh, obviously, it gets more and more accurate the closer it is because it's, it's based on all the weather and the accu weather and all the stuff that we're, we're uh, getting data from. And, and so that's going to be step number two. And then three on the same page. And, and obviously if you like using a different map, you can, you don't have to use the Google map there, but get, get on some type of satellite map based on what you now know and pick three two, five, maybe even seven spots. If you're going to be out there the entire day. And then this four piece, this is something that is unique to our insider club slash community. And, and this is optional. We have plenty of members like we have guides who might not do this, right? Uh, and we have 17,000 members now. Not everyone does this because some people have, have just been doing this for long enough. They've been following these steps for long enough. It's almost like second nature, just like you, right? You, you, you have confidence and you go out there and you kind of skip this part. But for the majority of us, right, the majority of weekend warriors who don't have the privilege of fishing all the time and don't have that privilege of always being on the water and just honestly want a little bit of help in coaching, which is what our insider club is about. This next step is really, really powerful. I'm going to, I'm going to share my screen here and show you a couple examples. Can you see this screen, Luke? Got it. Okay. So this is Matt, Matt Davis. I picked this one because he was one of the first guys to do this. And uh, it's this old Tampa Bay prospecting help looking for advice and input. And, and a, a few people had done it at the time. And this is like, this is like two years old. I, I went back in the archives to find this one. This is like one of the first ones where we're like, oh my gosh, this is so helpful. And by the way, he killed it uh, because of all the, the information he got. So uh, if you're listening, I'll read this for you. Uh, it says, fellow insiders, I'm planning on doing some prospecting around all in Tampa Bay, north of the Courtney Campbell Causeway. There's some great areas here. And I've heard from other insiders about their success around here lately. I've narrowed it down to four areas. So he did the steps that we've been talking about that we preach all the time in the Insider Club. And I'm hoping you could all let me know which of these areas you like the most and why. That's the most important thing he asked there and, and why, right? Because as Luke mentioned, fish are moving. I mean, they're moving every single tide cycle. We know they're moving every, every single season. And, and these spots, like had he asked us at a different time of the year, it might have been completely different answers. So that's that's what we want to keep hammering home over and over again. So many people, they get that one good spot or that two good spots and like, oh, man, I'm set for life. And, and we know because that's what we did. And then all of a sudden it, it, it doesn't work. And then it doesn't work again. You're like, what the heck? I thought this was a good spot. And it's because fish move. And that's why it was so critical that he asked why. And so I'm going to if you're. If you're watching this, you can see what he did. He's got a, a screenshot 
of just Google Maps, and he's got four arrows pointing to four completely different spots. And then he labeled them. You don't have to do all this. I love the fact that he did. So he's got spot A, and he's got it labeled. And this is like a zoomed in version of the satellite map. Spot B, spot C, and spot D. Let's see if I can get out of that. Okay. And so all of a sudden he puts this up there and look what happens. Tony's one of the first ones to chime in and he actually like gets on the same map and starts giving him more advice on areas that he's been. I mean, how, how awesome is that? So now he's got all kinds of intel from Tony. Uh, you got Austin, who is a guide, is uh, as well one of our other members. And he talks about a, a, a spot that he knows has worked really, really well for him right there in that same area. Get a few more people saying I'd go with either A or C or B or whatever the answer is. And let's see, hopefully this works. There we go. Uh, Bill DeWeese, who is very active in that area. Uh, I mean, he gives him all kinds of intel. I mean, this is stuff that is priceless that no one's going to give to you on Facebook. You guys know what happens when you ask something like that on Facebook. No one's going to give this stuff to you anywhere else. It's because we have such a helpful community of people who truly want to see you succeed. Let's look what Bill does. Bill goes in here and puts his own little pins. I mean, he takes the time to do that. And that's what I love about this community is just anglers helping anglers. Uh, Bill keeps going on here and, uh, and shares with them a few more, a uh, few more things. And, uh, you know, turns out Matt has an awesome, awesome day. So I thought that was just so cool to share uh, an example of what it looks like. Here's another one that was more recently. Uh, so it says advice for my first voyage. This is a Jeffrey Wilson, one of our incident members. Hello all, I'm planning my first kayak fishing trips and signing up here. Next time I can get on the water will be Saturday afternoon. So I will, it will be low to incoming tide in 17 miles per hour north, northeast wind. So once again, he's done step number two, which is going out into smart fishing tides. And then now he's picked a few spots. He's put a nice label on that. And then he asked for advice. And a lot of people give some really, really awesome advice. And of course, the great news is he has an amazing day. And then afterwards, post a picture of all the fish that he is catching. So this is like having a full-time fishing coach, right? This is why we call the Insider Club like having a fishing guide in your back pocket. You can ask these type of questions. And we have we have a full-time person, uh, uh, Austin there in Jacksonville, and a full-time person who, who gets on this stuff. And if he doesn't know the answer, he starts going out and reaching out to our network of guides to find out the answer. So it is like having a concierge like person at your beck and call, uh, obviously not 24 hours a day, but almost 24 hours a day that will get anything you need answered. And when you have places or types of spots or dissections or an upcoming pre-trip plan that you want us to look at, you will get awesome advice from people usually in your area who have fished that area and know that area pretty well. To me, this is the priceless stuff that you just, you can't, you can't even put a price tag on because you can't get this kind of stuff anywhere else unless you were paying a full-time guy just to give you all their, all their best stuff uh, every single week. Luke, any, any thoughts on this before we move I mean, it's, on? It's just the ultimate in human intelligence. Yep. As you said, I mean, there, you know, to try to post a question like that in Facebook and you'll probably get belittled and made fun of. And then here <laughs> it's, it's not only accepted, you know, it's, it's appreciated. Like it's, we all, we all enjoy it. Yeah, it's I encouraged. Think. I mean, we love this because we all learn from it every single time. Like if you go read Bill, if you read that full thing, you, you will learn something just from reading other people's responses. Like, wow. Cause Bill's been fishing that area for like 30 years. I mean, he knows it inside and out. Uh, so I, I love this stuff. So um, I'm on a new one here. This is a Georgia one. So this is in Savannah, Georgia. And I'm not going to read the whole thing because so it's pretty long. But this is another example of a member here who has lived and fished in Savannah the past, uh, past 12 years, but I've never got on my boat on purpose. Uh, but I thought blah, blah, blah. So he, uh, he found some, some areas he wanted to go try that he never tried before. Once again, take some screenshots from google and put some little arrows on there and here's one more screenshot as well talking about where he plans to leave the boat and uh it's uh, this obviously just helps us out as coaches and it helps the rest of our members not have to figure stuff out when it's la labeled well like this and um and then boom i copied dan because i know dan fishes that area uh, so austin chimes in he's not too far away and you can see dan dan actually says hey bennett i actually fished that same area 
um, uh, Donnie Burnside Hopper does too. LOL, message me and I'll be happy to walk you through his tactics. It's not for everyone though. I can promise you that. One last thing, remember you're going to be back there in big gator country, have an exit strategy in case, uh, so, so you need one. So he messaged him, Dan helps him out. And that's the power of the network of helping each other out. And, you know, normally he would have had no idea. He would have posted something in Facebook. And like Luke said, he would have got a bunch of negative Nancy's, you know, chiming in and, and, and probably putting funny fishing memes and stuff like that on there. So I think this part is priceless and, and we, we encourage it. We really do. Uh, everyone learns so much from this and we want you to succeed. I mean, we have the biggest, baddest, boldest guarantee out there, which is if you're not catching more fish and if you haven't saved money on, on tackle then you get your money back after a year. I mean, we have a lot to lose. So we want you catching fish. You, you have to catch more fish or we end up losing and, and we all end up losing. So everyone is in this together. We truly want all of our members to catch more fish, to go out there like that first example I showed you and create more memories out there with their loved ones. It's not always about catching, you know, the personal best, even though we have a lot of that, but it's, a, it's all about just going out there and getting tight lines, maximizing your time and, and having personally a phone full of pictures. I love that kind of stuff with, with my kids. And to me, that's the, the priceless stuff. Even though we're only charging 27 cents a day to be a member, it's only 97 for the entire year. It covers everything. I mean, that's, that's, that's a drop in the bucket uh, just from one awesome day, right? How many of you guys would pay 97 just for one amazing day on the water that you, would, that, that you take pictures of and, and, and that your kids are talking about for 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years? Uh, to me, I'd, I'd pay thousands of dollars for that. And that's what it's all about. So oh, I was trying to go to the next page. It's not going to let me. Nope, oh, there we go. Oh, this stinker up here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But so here's another one. I This was just 21 hours ago and uh, gives Luke a little credit here. Uh, so Guy Lavelle, awesome uh, member, been with us for a while. He says, Luke in the map tab for the win. And uh, this is just another kind of testimonial about how this stuff works. So he's staying at a, at a resort. So he's traveling. Um, and, uh, he was there in Fort DeSoto park and he happened to just go on the map and, you know, the map is where we actually have all of our fishing reports. I think Luke mentioned almost like 20,000 reports. He's like, I'm just going to go see what's, uh, what's over there. And, uh, ends up catching a, a Jack and, uh, let's see, a uh, nice snook on the old slam shady. Oh, that they got dirty, uh, in a, in a couple of trout right there from shore. Didn't have to bring his boat all because of the Intel they're inside of, uh, of the club. And that just happened here 21 hours ago. So I wanted to feature that real quick. So I, I love seeing stuff like that. We, we all do. And it's the power of the network. That's why we talk about it so much for our members is make sure you guys are in the community. It's the foundation of the insider club is so much power there. Yeah. The discounts are awesome. We got people that save four or $500 a year, but you know, we save 20 to 30% off all the tackle, all rods, reels, et cetera. But to me, this is this is the magic. This is where you're talking about maximizing your time. And so you might be saying, all right, Joe, Luke, those are only four steps. What's the fifth step? What happens after you post in the community and get feedback on your pre-trip plan? Well, it's go fishing with confidence. It's that simple. So it really is just four steps. And the fifth one is actually go put it in action. Go out there on the water. Uh, you know, do everything that you learn. Yeah, as Luke said, it's never going to be perfect. <laughs> I think even the very best fishermen, if they pick out three spots, are going to have to make adjustments just based on what they're seeing on the water. That's another piece that we teach. It's one of the free courses that we give all of our insider members in terms of, you know, on the water uh, of spot dissections and, and what to look for on the water. But just go put it to action. I mean, that's how you learn. That's how you get better. And then go back to the community and post your pictures like Guy did. And like so many people are doing every single day in the Insider Club. And uh, and just let us celebrate with you. That's really what it's all about. Uh, Luke and I and, and all of our fishing coaches, Tony, Wyatt, and Austin, we uh, we absolutely love getting in there every day and just and just giving the old thumbs up and and leaving a little papau comment on there just once again celebrating with our members there's just nothing better than seeing someone especially someone who struggled which all of us have by the way 100 percent of us have struggled with catching fish at one point or another or are currently and it is so cool to see someone who had struggled and just couldn't put it together they follow the simple five steps that don't really take that long in the big scheme of things and go put it to action and all of a sudden start catching fish. And they're like, I can't believe it's this easy. 
and, 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 and it is, I mean, it becomes a whole lot easier to consistently get bites and to get strikes and get tight lines when you put a system in place like this five easy steps. Yeah. What do you think Luki? Well, there, I would say there's two hardcore facts in fishing. Number one is we've all struggled. <laughs> uh, if anybody says you haven't, you're, I mean, this might not be truthful. It's impo- you're not just born to be able to, to fish. It's, it's something that's learned. And then number two is that it is literally impossible to know everything about fishing. And, and, and this, this whole community is filled with people who know and understand both facts to be true. And that's why, let me sh- share the screen so you can see the people can see the map. Um, is that, you know, we, this is a, again, a significant network of, of anglers. This isn't just a Florida thing because we're based in Florida. We have, we have members all across the, the Gulf. You can see here in this map, tons of pins. So all of these pins, this is like a Facebook group that actually post that actually logs everything geographically as well. And so you can see there's a lot of engagement in, in Texas. There's the engagement in Louisiana, all along the, co- the coast. Obviously, Florida has a ton as well. I mean, just check Tampa Bay. Look at that. I mean, that's like all pins. Those are all individual reports that are part of this system. And then going up, up the Atlantic. It, it is, it, this is, again, this is an enormous network. And so knowing that it's impossible to know everything and knowing that all of these pins have some, some helpful tips and tactics, it is, it is literally impossible to not learn something new if you just spend just a little bit of time going through the reports. Yep. Um, obviously, you know, we do the summary. If you don't have much time, at least just do that 10 minute video that summarizes everything at a high level. But, but if you do have some time, just going through some of these individual posts, there's a wealth of information in there. I've learned an absolute ton just, just from simply taking a little bit of time and reading those posts. Can't, yeah. can't emphasize it enough. I know on the last video, I'll bring it up here. If you go, oh, well, I was going to say, keep that back up, please. Up, up, um, up. Yeah, in the last video, someone had, when we had the map up, we're like, hey, you, you guys, map's all messed up. You can't catch redfish and, and trout and flounder in the middle of these states. And if you're wondering why there's pins that just aren't on the coast, uh, we do have a lot of people who are either traveling or live in other states and they're putting their bass fishing uh, picks. There's a lot of uh, bass catches as, uh, as well, which we love. I mean, even though our name is Salt Strong, we grew up, our, our teeth were cut catching bass and, and bluegills. And uh, we love, we celebrate all, all fish and we do not discriminate here on the, on the fish at all. And we love seeing the bass picks. And the cool news is once you're in the community, it, it's broken out and, and categorized you know, you know, by region and even by species. So if you, if you didn't want to see any bass stuff, you could literally click a button and eliminate all that stuff. For some guys, hey, like uh, I take the family up to Georgia once a year in the little lake up there and I want to see all the, all the reports for that area. And so it's helped me out even there in the middle of the state sometime, which is a uh, pretty cool, but primarily it is for catching inshore slams, redfish and speckled trout and flounder and snook mangrove snapper, et cetera. That's then, really the, the majority of all these reports. Yeah. And the seasonal stuff like tarpon and, and triple tail, Hell all yeah. that is, is obviously in there as well. It's usual to see it as it comes into play. Um, like I had, uh, yeah, I, I really, I don't really fly fish very much. And I was going through it, saw a post uh, about tarpon, some tarpon uh, in, in Tampa Bay near where I was staying at the time. And so I went there the, a couple of days later, brought the fly rod, which I rarely ever take. And I caught a, a tarpon on my fly rod. I like literally had to blow the dust off of it to, and when I started casting. And it was just something that had it not been for that human intelligence, uh, I, I would have not not had that fun, uh, that fun experience. So yep. um, it's just, uh, Again, if you, if you haven't given a shot, if you enjoy catching inshore saltwater fishing and you haven't given us a shot, just can't emphasize enough. Just give it, give it a try. You have a 365 day satisfaction guarantee that you're going to absolutely love it. And if somehow you don't, just let us know and you get a full refund. Yep. Very simple. And, and you can go there at saltstrong.com and there's a button at the top or saltstrong.com forward slash pricing to see our best, absolute best price and all the little cool things that you get. We get some free bonuses. We're giving away uh, to any new members. And obviously, if you're a current member, uh, you're getting all that stuff as well in terms of some of the free courses and stuff we're throwing out. So the three things that our Insider Club en- encapsulates, if you will, is the real time, you know, the feeding trends, fishing reports, and then coaching, as we've shown here today. Then we have the product discounts, and then we have the powerful network and the community. Uh, those are the, the three things that separate this from anything else out there uh there's just nothing else like it which is why we have that crazy big bold 
guarantee 365 days. You will be catching more fish. You will become more consistent. You will definitely save money on your tackle and you're hopefully going to meet some new friends. That's another really cool part. It's slowed down a little bit with COVID, but now it's starting to slowly pick back up is, is doing meetups. We have a lot of people who would say, Hey, I'm in, you know, North Carolina and Wrightsville and who wants to meet up this uh, Saturday. It's going to be a beautiful day. Let's all meet here. And, you know, five, 10 people uh, will show up and, and we've done quite a bit of those in, uh, in Florida as well. Now some in Texas, and it's cool to see those, uh, those happen. Cause that's when friendships are blossoming. People go out and have a, a beer afterwards and they're sharing fishing stories and Intel. Uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's to me, that's, that's awesome. That's what community is all about. So I hope you guys will join us if you haven't. For those of you who have, thank you guys so much. Uh, you mean the world to us. It's, it really is the foundation of the company. It's what Luke and I get excited about every morning to wake up. Uh, to, it's one of the first things I do every morning is check the community and see what's, what's happening. I love seeing testimonials. I love seeing uh, what's working. And we love the coaching aspect of it. So we, we want more of you. If you're a current member and you haven't been you know, uh, doing any of this pre-trip planning stuff, start doing it. You know, it, it doesn't mean you have to do it every single time. Uh, but start doing it. You'll be blown away with the kind of feedback you get. And if you're not a member, join today, test it out. It works. And even if you're not going to fish, I think that's one other objection we get is, oh, I don't really have any trips coming up for the next 30 or 60 days. Well, that's even better time. Let's do it now so you can start watching all this stuff. You will have a massive edge. Don't ever wait the last second because there's those three courses. I mean, each of them can take a couple hours to go through. Put all that stuff into your head and you will have a massive advantage over the fish by time you go fishing on your next trip. We even have a lot of members who just come down to Florida or Texas or somewhere in the South, like once or twice a year for like a month at a time. And the other 11 months are just watching this stuff and studying it. So that when we get there, they're armed and dangerous and ready to go. So that's at saltstrong.com. Come and join us in the Insider Club and start putting these five steps, five simple steps to the test. And then the sixth step after fishing with confidence is to, you know, post your pictures and then rinse and repeat and do it all over again. So guys, thank you so much. Hopefully this was a helpful one for you. Um, I, I know we didn't get into the weeds and we have some other videos. We'll put some links on that in the show notes in terms of like how to do each and one of these uh, steps, but we wanted to give a big picture and really just a blueprint. So you can have in your mind, all right, here's step number one, just watch a 10 minute video. You know, step number two is go to smart fishing, uh, tides.com and step number three is pick three spots and and then some of you are just going to go right out from there and fish uh, the rest of you you know hey let's let's share these spots in the community and get some you know some free coaching since i'm already you know paying for the membership let's get some some coaching out of this and see what what the members can uh, can help me with and make just make sure i'm on the right path and then boom go out there and, and fish with more confidence than you've ever had before so that's it lukey anything else brother no good times very good times. Very good times. All right, dude. Well, um, we'll have to do this because we're going to go fishing here this uh, this week, uh, even though it's a little cold and, uh, and windy. And we're going to have to put this to the test ourselves. So we'll do another video on that where we'll record our uh, our trip out there. And I don't know if we'll be wearing parkers or not, but it's definitely a little front coming through. So it'll be fun. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Go to saltstrong.com. Pow! We out. See ya.